morning. Today we're going to go over real quick how to make a PDF writable for your students. Okay. Uh, I've opened up whatever team I wanted here. And uh, my first step is to get a PDF. So wherever you're getting your PDF from, have that available. Save it somewhere you know. Um, and we're going to show you how to allow your students to write on top of it. So we're going to be using Class Notebook for this in Teams. It's this uh, tab up here at the top. I'm going to click on Class Notebook. And because I haven't set it up in this class, I have to do that at least once for each of my classes. So I'm going to set up one note Class Notebook. I'm going to set it up from blank. We've all set up one notes before. This is, tells you exactly who can do what in each section. Uh, handouts, class notes, quizzes. If I want to add sections, I can do it now or I can add it later. Doesn't matter. It's going to get my notebook ready. This might take a few minutes to do because it's creating a notebook for each student in your class. All right. Here is my class notebook right here. First thing I want to do is open in desktop app. This is going to give you the most flexibility. It'll open the same OneNote we have here. So here it is in the desktop app. Uh, I'm on a Mac. Shouldn't matter though. First thing we're going to do is you're going to look at your teacher only space. This is a space only you can see. I'm going to add a page to my teacher only space and I'm going to title it with my assignment. So, oh, my N isn't working. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to insert and I want to insert a printout. What it'll do is it will find a PDF and it'll put it as a picture on the screen. So I'm going to do this PDF assignment and I'm going to insert it. Basically, it's telling everybody how to make a PDF writable. So the, before I can make this writable for students, I need to set it as background. That will put its place on the page so kids can't move around with it and it will make it writable. I got to go to each page and do that. Set picture as background. Now, when my kids need to fill something out, all they have to do is click on the area anywhere in it. Let's delete this little box first. I can click anywhere in Teams and I can answer questions. All right, if your kids don't like typing, you can come up to draw and they can use a pen to circle the right answer or a highlighter to highlight text that they need to remember. This is how to make a PDF writable in Teams. So I have it in my uh, OneNote. Now I wanna get it to my kids. Well, what do I do? Well, the good thing about OneNote is it syncs everywhere. So right now you can see in the background, it's syncing to the cloud. So I'm gonna go back to my Teams. I'm back here in my OneNote. I'm gonna look in this teacher only section and look at, here's my sample assignment, okay? If I wanna get rid of that. You can see the highlights, you can see the questions, it's still loading the image in the background, but those will all stay and be there. Now the easiest way to get this sample assignment out to my kids is to go to assignments, create a new assignment, and under resources, right here, I'm going to add from my class notebook that page from my teacher only section. Sample assignment. I'm going to attach that to this assignment. And now I want to put it in my kids homeworks folder. All I have to do is enter a title Same thing here. I can do points, no points. I can make it do uh, later or earlier. I have all the same tools I have when I'm creating assignments in Teams. I assign this to my students. All my students are going to get an assignment now, and it's going to be sample PDF to write on. 
All right, so I waited a little bit to make sure that uh, everything was uploaded to the server. Remember, with OneNote, assignments can take 5 to 20 minutes to get there. So if you can, do it the day before. But once I got, come here and view the assignment, I can view it as a student as well. And all a student has to do is click right here on the sample assignment. It will open up in Teams. They don't have to leave Teams. And here you can see my PDF is writable. All my highlights came through. I can click anywhere as a student and um, complete this assignment in Teams without having to go anywhere else. Okay, so let's review. And luckily, I have it right here on the screen. Number one, find your resource. Get it as a PDF. Uh, number two, open Teams. Three, go to your class notebook. Open in desktop. You're going to select your PDF pages. You're going to put it as a printout. Okay, print out and then background. And then you come and you assign it in Teams. If you need any help, you can always ask me, tcovington at bassusd.org, or you can talk to uh, Mike as well, or you can just chat us in Teams. We're always willing to jump in and help.